Yes, 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 my wonderful people. Uh, it is time to show you how to prepare shawarma. Wait for me in a minute. I'm coming. So here, wonderful people, what you're seeing on the screen here is um, tomato and um, lotus. So there are a lot of ingredients I'm going to prepare today with this um, uh, shawarma. First of all, like I show you on the screen here, this is a uh, lotus and tomatoes. I have already sliced it. I don't want to waste your time washing and uh, looking at it. So here, I have uh, onions that I have sliced already. Can you see it? Onions. I slice it. I put it here so that you can see everything all together. So here, I have... Um, sweet pepper you can see it's coming as well together with this i'm gonna slice everything together then um we will also have some ingredients like sauce do you see sauce you can get this one in the supermarket i bought this one from the supermarket here in the uh iceland supermarket so i have peanut butter Okay, let me show you what I how I use peanut butter. Um, I have a shawarma here where I will place the peanut butter. Look at the shawarma. Shawarma here. Um, so when I take my spoon to collect some of the peanut butter, I will collect as much as I like from this peanut butter. Then I take one of this shawarma. You know, one thing about peanut butter is gonna make the the shawarma to have taste more. So this is uh, peanut butter, rubbing it on the shawarma uh, uh, surface. By the time you finish doing it, this is how it's gonna be. So. Continue rubbing it, continue rubbing it, make it more circulated all over the surface because you're gonna consume all of this. You are gonna consume it. Believe me, by the time you eat this, you will confess. All right, so as it is now, that's how it's gonna be. But I'm not yet. Um, ready to eat but let me slice some other uh, ingredients like onions because this is a uh, two onions that i've just sliced so far i'm slicing again because i eat too much of onions it's good to hurt according to the medical doctors so look at the last onion that i'm slicing the first one have been sliced already so i continue to slice it continue washing me if you have question, ask me because uh, I'm gonna put this on the on my YouTube channel. You'll be able to watch it. Very important. So, onions is good for health. For those who are having problem of breathing, so having problem of nose blocking, kata um, and uh, cough, onions we heal it. And again, for some of us who are very close to computer on a daily basis, onions is one of the medicine. So here it is, I'm slicing the sweet pepper now. Let me remove the seed inside. All right. You don't need seed. The seed inside the, inside the uh, sweet pepper is not necessary. I don't know if anybody eat it at all, but I never eat it before. So I'm slicing the sweet pepper now inside the on top of so, uh, the onions. Not necessary that it must be on top of onions because you're gonna uh, pour it inside this uh, lotus and uh, tomatoes that you have sliced already. So I continue slicing. 
it's not that hard job but it takes time um, you need to have patience so that you'll be able to achieve a good result I'm slicing the last uh, sweet pepper now before then I, I, I need to remove the seed inside after I remove the seed inside I will slice the remaining this is one of my best meal so far one thing with me I take my time to prepare my delicious food I don't eat anyhow I don't prepare food anyhow I don't cook anyhow take my time meditate what I want to eat how it's gonna be in my body soul and spirit so right now I finished slicing just a moment I'm coming. So I finished slicing the onions and um, onions and sweet pepper. Put it in a plate. Oh, I think. Uh, need to put uh, everything together with the lotus and the tomatoes so that I just slice now there with me a second place uh, some of my family members when I prepare this this delicious food and send to a WhatsApp group uh, they feel like to come over immediately to dine with me but unfortunately we live in different city so that is why they can't come to me so as it is now you can see how delicious it looks like so once all these things are ready you can see uh, I've used the um, peanut butter already the next thing is uh, sauce but this sauce now is something that uh, has to be poured on top of chawama here when I'm ready to eat. And again, here I have uh, chicken that I've just roasted. Look at the chicken. I just roasted and put it in the freezer, which I will use when I'm eating it. So as it is now, you can see the chicken on top of the lotus and the tomato yeah the food is getting ready a lot of ingredients in order to make it look sweet sometimes uh, if i want to eat enough of it i can put uh, eggs wash the eggs here these are the eggs that i cook you can just apply it if you want but like I said before, I'm kind of somebody who wants to eat the best meal so far. It gives me healthy, gives me good. Onions is good for those who are always on computer because onions will help to wash the lens of your eyes, straighten the um your um, what is it called um your eyeball threaten it make it so uh, so hard you know on computer that the effect of the screen doesn't affect your lens okay All right so i think uh, we are good to go now um all the ingredients are ready 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 what i do in order to in order to get a, a good result, I have uh, this small bowl here. I can like pour pour this inside it, pour the sweet pepper and onions inside it because that's where I'm gonna mix mix the entire uh, ingredients inside let me put the chicken by the side 
so watch how I'm doing it the lotus and um, tomatoes that I sliced and um, put in this board is what I'm pouring inside the on where I put the onions and slice by the time let me use my hand to put it together put it together pa, 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 pa. believe me if you eat this food here yeah, you will go mad oh this book cannot contain all of it so what I do now so leave it like that and then um, get a cover of it get a cover of it and uh, cover it and turn it properly so that everything we mix together this is how I do it but if you don't have enough ball that can contain everything you can take them one by one to, uh, to your to your what's it called on top of your shawarma and eat it but I'm just mixing it everything is mixing together so let me open it you see uh, some of the the thing has uh, deflated so I will put the entire of the lotus inside it I will put the entire of it put it here so that's all for now. The whole of the lotus has gone in, inside one container. It's all gone in one in one container. I cover it again and turn it one more time. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's stiff now. It might not turn properly, so I leave it like that. Like I said, everything is set and done. Okay, so what I got to do now is to, um, you can see the chicken is frozen already. I need to microwave it. Um, but this chicken, I just boil it and put it in a oven and just roast it. It's, it's not necessary that you must put it in the oven and roast it the way I did because um, it was when I roast it in a oven that I use some spice to put it so that it will look more taste. Look at this spice I use to toast it. But some people, I will advise you if you don't have time to roast it to have a better taste like I do, just give it normal boiling, cook it, you know, bring it out and use it to do your trauma. That's it. It's not necessary that you must put it in the oven. Just eat it. It doesn't stop uh, the chicken texting um the good text, you know, I'll give you a good text. Just go ahead and, uh, you know, eat it um, like a boiling chicken. So that is it for now. Just in case you want to know what, how I will do with the lotus and all that, the one that I mix, here is the uh, chawama uh, flour. So what you do, you take some of these, some of this lotus, and place on top of a uh, chawama floor when you put it here that's it so these are part of the ingredients like onion sweet pepper and uh, tomatoes all together coming out by the time you, pe you you pour them on top of it that is it you have made a chawama you know then I live in this chicken now uh, that I have microwave it now. Oh, should I do it now so that you can see everything how it works? Um, I might pause the video so that uh, I can microwave it in three minutes. I'll come back. So, as see it's microwaving. You be a patient a moment so that um, everything will be done. 
like I said, this is the shawarma here. This is the lotus. All the ingredients is in one container now. I can still turn it so that I can get the whole mix of it. All everything we mix together. Everything we mix together. This container is not a special container. It, it was just uh, ice cream I just finished. I just using the container. So if you have any um, portable container or space container that you can use to mix it up in your house, you can use it. There's no special uh, container to mix it. Whatever that you consider to be good for yourself, you can use to do it. So that is it. If, even if I open it now, you will see how mixed up it, it looks like. Yeah, it mixed up well. It mixed up well. Yes. So as per the sauce, I, I showed you before. Look at how you do it. You pour it on top of on top of this. Let me bring it close to the camera so that uh, you'll be amazed how wonderful, delicious. It is. This is a. It's like a king's uh, delicacy. All right. Um, so as I'm pouring it on the shawarma now, you can see how precious, delicious it looks like. Believe me, if you eat this thing, you can go from here to heaven and come back. If you wish to come back, otherwise you stay in heaven. Because in my father's house, there are many mansions. Mansion in heaven, you enjoy the delicacy of heaven. And you'll be amazed how the delicacy of heaven is. Delicacy of heaven like the one Jesus used to feed 5,000 men plus women and children. That's kind of delicacy you will eat here on earth. You find yourself in heaven. I'm sure I'm not sounding religious. I am a spiritual man, not religious. So I always quote scripture because in the beginning was the word, and the word was the Lord, and the words what with him. So as it is now, you can hear the sound of microwave. It has finished microwaving the chicken. Let me bring it. Hang on a minute. Yes. So here is the chicken now. I have microwaved it. It's, it's good to go. So here, I can take it and pieces it on top of this and, you know, I can tear it, you know, tear it, tear it, tear it, tear it, all of the this thing. It, it will be good to go. So that is it for now. I thank you for watching this video. If you get it, please share it, like it, and comment on it. And I will do another video again on a special delicacy, how to make another meal, which you will not see anywhere in the shop. I don't spend much money. I don't spend much money doing all this. But if I go to the shop to buy it, uh, already made own, I will spend times four of money that I've used to prepare this. So most of the people, Asian shops that are doing ke kebab, like Turkish shop and other, that are making a killing. Okay, if you eat this, you will notice different from the one that are selling in the shops. So, all those takeaway shops, you know, um, they don't use much ingredients like some of us in the domestic house are used. So, this one is more delicious, it's more quality than the one you go and buy at the takeaway shop. I thank you all for watching. I will see you again. Like I said, stay blessed.